my Go Go fam, welcome back to my Coco channel. If you're new here, welcome. I have so many new subscribers. Eh? The Coco fam is growing day by day, eh? and I'm happy, happy, happy with you guys. So, welcome to the Coco fam. Um, today I will be doing a second video related to the first one of last week because I got so many messages of people asking me about more tips, more things that you should know about here living in the Netherlands. So here you go guys, I'll be doing a second video especially for you guys mentioning all the things that you should know living here in the Netherlands. There's so much things that I won't cover all those things, so let's start. Grab the notebook and let's begin. First one. There's so much laws here in Netherlands. It's really, really important to learn and know the laws because people have the tendency to fool you often here in Netherlands. So it's really, really important to know your laws. Netherlands, it's organized semi-controlling why I say controlling is because it's so organized that you feel like they're almost controlling controlling your life you feel like when you have to poop they know when you're pooping it's really like that but it's really really organized especially the government sites when you log into your day hey day or if you call the gemeente they can trace back your calls and see when was the last time you called. So, Netherlands is really, really organized, controlling. So, that's one for sure. Um, third one. Here in the Netherlands, you really, really, really have to get a bicycle. If you don't have a bicycle, you don't count. It's a lifestyle here. It's a trend. It's also the most inexpensive thing to have because you can travel from one part to another to another part easily on your bike. Also, it saves you so much money instead of going with the public transportation. Um, but the con of having a bike is it gets stolen easily. It gets stolen easily. Even if you lock it, if you don't lock it properly or whatever, I don't know how, but they finesse and stole the bikes easily here in the Netherlands. So I don't recommend you to go buy an expensive bike because at the end, all your money will be gone. I personally don't have a bike because I don't know how to ride a bike. Like, don't judge me. So, <laughs> but I really, really want to learn how to ride a bike because I think it's so cool to have a bike here living in the Netherlands. Talking about bike traveling and everything, with the public transportation, you can ride Zwart. They say Zwart rijden. This means that you can easily just travel from one part to another part without even paying without even checking in because you have to check in with an OV card OV chip card um, but you can choose to don't check in and don't check out at the end and save some money but you just have to be alert when the conductor are, are controlling in the trams metro or train if the access door is open or if you just go behind someone you can just finesse the whole ride. <laughs> so that's it. I done this a few times just to save some coins. And don't be like all nervous and everything. Just chill with the vibe when you see they're controlling, you know, quickly check in or whatever. Or just stop at the ne next stop and get in in the next tram or metro or whatever. So yes. Um, next thing is you can save a lot of money by train if you buy your ticket online. If you buy your ticket on NS app, I swear you will be saving so much money. 
so many people don't even know about this trick yet i even found it out myself recently but i'm going to learn my cocos today about this simple affordable unexpensive saving money trick so let's say you want to go from the heeg to dordrecht yes or any of those drechts because yeah dordrecht barendrecht zwijndrecht anyways a whole lot of drags. Um, but you can't afford to pay the fee from the Heug to Dordrecht. You can easily put your red from the Heug Central to Rotterdam Central and pay 8 euros. For example, I'm just going to say something right now. Let's say the red will be 8 euros, right? You will be paying the 8 euros online on your phone. You have the barcode to check in, check out, bling, 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 and it says on the card, enkele reis, which means you can only use this ticket once. Which, there's the trick, it's a lie, it's a lie, you can use this trick, you can use it, this ticket the whole day, till 12 before the next day. The whole day, I ain't even lying. I save coins every day on this rate you just have to finance them you know you have to be smarter than them next one it's easy and inexpensive to travel to other countries in Europe you're in the Netherlands you can travel anywhere you want that's part of Europe Let's say if you want to go to Paris, you want to go to Spain, you want to go to Portugal, you want to go to, um, where's the name of this thing uh, um, again? Hey, I just mentioned a few. It's so inexpensive. You can find traveling tickets starting from 15 euros. It's so, literally so inexpensive. You will often need to use maps and walk with a portable charger why do i have to say this because um if you have to go to a place if you never went before you will got, get lost easily so you really really need your google maps to instruct you okay you have to go here there left right straight backwards everything you really really need a google map app to instruct you where you're going and why the portable charger because this consumes all your battery lives using just maps it takes so much from the phone battery so it's really really handy to have a portable charger charger by hand also if you get lost you can call somebody if your phone don't have battery who are you calling how are you going back Think smart um next one important be on time here in the netherlands the people are so precise we're appo with appointment and everything wait yes here you really really have to be on time with appointment everything because if you're even two minutes late you won't even get your appointment you have to make another appointment so always be on time you don't have much food varieties here in the netherlands you will only get like capsalon um Surin surinam's food um sometimes chinese um sushi um those types of things it's not the thing that i normally used to buy in curacao in curacao i think we have more options than only these things getting free food <laughs> you can easily also get free food um, let's say once um, I was at a friend and we ordered Domino's and the pizza was cold and it didn't have all the things that we asked for so we called and we complained about it and they bought the whole order for free for free and I was like okay I'm going to try this at home myself and it worked literally i've ordered pizza it was good and everything but i was like you know I, I want to eat one more so i called and complained about the pizza and they 
but another one for me for free so just don't go overboard with it because then you will ruin it for everybody else dutch treat dutch treat is really known here in the netherlands dutch treat means everybody pays for their own things it's not like, okay, I will be paying for you. No, everybody pays for their own things. If you're following me on Instagram, you already saw on my Instagram story that I posted a story about the packaging that was about to arrive at my address. And I put it in a poll so you guys can vote if I should open it in my next video or not and you guys voted for yes so i'll be doing this right now this is the packaging I'll, i'm putting my hand so you can see my address this is the packaging um it's from my girl Flo flawless glow she's a west specialist in rotterdam she's the best lily she's the best she takes her time to get rid of every single piece of hair she has so much patience you feel at home at the salon it's a whole chill vibes i really really recommend this salon enough with the talking let's open the packaging you guys let's open the packaging coco there's a seal right here i'm so excited let's see i don't even have a slight idea what it is okay i i ain't i'm lying i it feels like leaves so i think it's related to the you know vaginal wash thing or vaginal cleaning thing you know but we're gonna see right now let's go let's go i'm really really let's see if it's still recording yes okay yes, yes. i'm really 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 excited for the packaging Let, let's open it let's open the packaging guys oh my gosh it's so good Still. okay travel please Let me show you guys first, and you guys are let it, going to let me know what's in it. I don't know if you guys can see what's in it, but let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm so excited. I see so much things here. Okay, there's, okay, I have everything. Yeah! I told you guys it's something with leaves. Okay, okay, let's read what's all those things here. I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's start with the, this one. This one. Let's start with this one. It says V Steam for home use by Flawless Glow. V Steam is a traditional. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm just going to read it real quick and then I'll get to you guys what it is. So yes guys, it's officially the V Steam. You guys, I wanted to purchase this thing so bad for a long time already and right now I just got it for free. For free. Mm. You know, it smells like... Mm. What's the tea that we use in Curacao? There's a specific tea that we made in Curacao when you're when you're sick i think it's lemongrass lemongrass i think they say it in english it smells so good it smells so good i got also two two gift cards one for me one for a plus one. Oh my gosh coco's plus one it's 20 euros oh my gosh girl i love this girl and let's see what's in the small packaging so cute it's written coco on it oh my gosh your guys for coco just a little thanks for the nice videos and your trust in me oh oh my god girl from manuela oh my gosh oh my gosh girl you're making me cry oh my gosh this is so so sweet oh my gosh and i also got a 
discount cart. When you get the cart full, you get a 30% discount. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, you have to check out my girl Flawless Glow on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put the link in the description box for you guys and also pop it on the screen for you guys. Oh my gosh, girl. Thank you so, so much. And I can't wait to try this. Um, go follow me also on Instagram so you guys can know how everything went and Alice the rope in the runs. Oh my god! I'm so 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 excited. Thank you, girl. I really thank you. I really appreciate you. Oh my gosh, the Coco fam is the sweetest. I swear, I swear. It's easy to bring things back when you don't want them anymore, or if it doesn't fit or it wasn't your expectation or whatever. It's easily to just bring them back and get your money. My best friend, literally, everything that she buys and she didn't like it, how it looks in the house or whatever, she will bring it back. Everything she brings back to get her money because she doesn't want it anymore or it didn't fit like she wanted it to fit. So it's easy to just bring things back when you don't want them or it didn't suit your expectations. I once ordered a tripod and it says that I received it at my address and I didn't. So I called them. I was like, yeah, you guys told me that I received it, but I didn't receive no tripod. Um, even though my neighbor um, took it for me. But at the end, I got my money back and I still got the tripod. So, yeah, yeah, things happen. <laughs> Um, if you're 18 plus, you're allowed to buy weed at a coffee shop. Here in Netherlands, weed is completely legally, so if you're 18 plus, you just can go at a coffee shop and buy your weed. Sometimes, as a woman, you don't feel safe at all here in the Netherlands. In Curacao, I can walk at night or it doesn't matter the time and I'll be okay. I'm okay, you know? I feel low-key i'll feel safe but here in the netherlands when it's too late or especially in the winter and it's too dark when i have to walk alone i'll be so so alert of everything every move movement everybody that keeps looking at me i'll be like i think it's time to run because i really don't feel safe here in the netherlands that's one thing i really really have to say you can collect um water bottle beer bottles or whatever and you can get money back from collecting them i have a whole collection of water bottles here in my kitchen at the end when there's too much and i don't have space anymore i return them back and i will get like seven to eight euros back from ju for just returning them back so that's also a way to get some money Dutch people love to overshare info. As we say in Papiamento, na gusta redu. Um, Dutch people, literally, when you talk with them, they overshare everything. They can tell you they are, they were married to Kaas. Kaas broke up with them. They got a kid by um, Peter. Peter broke up with them. Paper don't want to raise the kids. They will tell you everything and in details. And they also expect in return that you tell them about your life. In my culture, we don't do that. We, we, we don't do that at all. I can tell you like, yeah, I have a boyfriend or I can choose to don't tell you that. No, I don't have a boyfriend and I know for sure that I have a boyfriend. So that's one thing of sh for sure of the Dutch people. They literally gusta redu. There's so much microaggression in Netherlands. For example, when people give you racist comments, but they can brush it off easily. I don't know if you understand me, but um, let's say they can they can just came to you and tell you like oh you speak dutch very well for a antillian girl what are you trying to say and when you cuss them or when you say something about it they will be like no i didn't meant to say that it's what it wasn't meant like that 
you know, that's microaggression. Here in the Netherlands, you will get this often with the Dutch people. I don't have nothing about nothing against Dutch people at all because there's a few of them. They're literally scotches, but there's other ones. Racist? Okay, I'm saying racist as fuck. Every year you can fill a document to get your taxes in return. This is called aangifte. It's a good, it's a good money that you will be getting in return after one year. It's a good amount of money, you know. Fill that in. Don't forget about it. Don't apply for allowance for housing, health insurance, kids, and daycare. We call it in the Netherlands toeslag. You can get money for almost everything to help you pay your house, to help you pay your health insurance, help you with your kids, daycare, everything. It can be clearer than this. It will help you also financially to save some guys. Last one. If you don't have a degree of, let's say, university or whatever, if you don't have a diploma, you can easily go to a MBO school and just get your diploma there with an mbo diploma you can do everything everything you can get work everywhere that you want i know people from 30 years 30 years old that are doing their mbo at the moment so don't be ashamed if you don't have a diploma or if you're going to a mbo nothing yes go go that was it for this video i hope this helped you guys much more and i hope you guys have a nice trip to the netherlands or enjoy your life here in the netherlands bye bye cocos